Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Sawyer and I'm a developer advocate for IBM Bluemix. Today we're going to be talking about migrating your app between Bluemix regions. So to start off, um, we're going to have a couple kind of prerequisites for this. So the application we're going to be using today is a Node app and it's using a Cloud at NoSQL database. So there's uh, right now three different regions for Bluemix. One is called US South, that's in Dallas, Texas in the United States. And there is also another one in London and um, in Europe, and there is also a newly opened one in Sydney and Australia. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to be migrating an application from Dallas to, uh, to Sydney and Australia. So uh, let's go ahead and get started and jump right into it. So currently I have an application running in US South. Um, it's called Talent Manager, and we can see it's running in US South by the domain up here, just mybluemix.net. So if we want, let's go take a look at the application on Bluemix. So we'll go to the dashboard. This app particular application is using uh, the Watson Personality Insights Service and also uh, the Claudent uh, NoSQL database. So let's go take a look at the application just to show basically what's, what's going on with it. So let's find it here, Talent Manager. So as I said earlier, it's using uh, Cloud and also Personality Insights from Watson. So uh, let's say we want to move this uh, application to, to Sydney. So we're going to do this with the Cloud Foundry command line. So I'm going to switch over to the command line. So let's go ahead and check out our application on the command line. We can do CF App Talent Manager. I'm already logged into US South in the command line. So we can see some information about the application, and this shows we're also running in US South. It's on the mybluemix.net domain. So uh, next step is actually pointing our, our API client, the command line, to um, Sydney instead. So we do cf login a. A just means uh, the endpoint to API endpoint, api.au-sid. Dot .bluemix .net. And I'm going to go ahead and post um, the, all the, the API URLs for all the Bluemix instances in the bottom of this video. But uh, let's go ahead and hit enter. And we'll log in. This is the same username and password you use to log into uh, the any other Bluemix region. Okay, so I'm logging in. I'm just going to go ahead and select the same organization that I was using in uh, in US South also. So if we check this out, there probably should be there won't be any applications here. Okay, no apps found. Great. So we want to go ahead and upload our application, but first before we do that, we need to create uh, re recreate the same services that that application was using. So in this case it was using Watson and Personality Insights. So I'm just going to copy the commands from GitHub for this uh, particular application to create the services, just to make my life a little easier. It's just going to create a, a Cloudant database first. So we're going to create a Cloudant database here. And we're giving it a name, Talent Manager-DB. This is the exact same name as the uh, database in, the, in US South also. Let's go ahead and go back and get the command for Watson. Okay, so we've created our Cloudant database. Uh, next, we need to uh, create a Personality Insights instance. So I'm just going to paste in the command, hit Enter. Okay, awesome. I uh, got my Watson instance created. So uh, next step is actually just the last one, just actually pushing the application to uh, Bluemix. So all we need to do is type in CF push. Then um, about a minute or two from now, we'll have an up and running application. I'm not going to sit here and make you watch through all that, so I'm going to just go, go ahead and edit that out, and we'll go ahead and uh, skip to the end. So it looks like our application's finished deploying. Let's go ahead and copy the URL and go check it out to see if it's up and running. So you'll notice up here in the URL, it actually has a uh, different uh, subdomain appended uh, here at au-sid now. This means the application is actually running in the Bluemix region in Sydney. So let's just make sure our application works. So I'll type in some information and let's check it out. And over here on the right hand side it should pop up with some Watson results. Awesome. Application is working great. That's awesome. So that wasn't too bad. Uh, it was just a couple steps to get your application moved from one uh, data center to another. 
so that wasn't too bad. Uh, we left out a couple things today. We we left out um, migrating data. You probably want, would want to do that. You probably want to migrate your data between data centers, and you probably want to even replicate it between data centers. That will be co coming in a future video. Obviously, you'd probably be running with your own domain name and SSL cert, and you probably want to load balance between those two data centers as well, and we'll be talking about that in an upcoming video. Uh, thanks again for watching today. And again, I'll put the, the links below for all the URLs for di the different Bluemix regions. Thanks again for watching.